In this video, we'll take a look at the type of reaction for CH3COOH plus MgOH2. This is acetic acid. This is magnesium hydroxide. Often you'll see acetic acid written like this here. It's the same thing, same number of atoms, but I like this way a little better. It's more descriptive. This is a carboxylic acid, and this H right here, that's what's making this acetic. So let's use this one in this video. We look at the reaction. And the first thing I notice is I have water here, and then I have what's called a salt. It's an ionic compound. We have a metal and some nonmetals here. So if I have a salt and I have water, what I'm thinking is that this is probably going to be a neutralization reaction. If I look at the reactants, acetic acid, this is one you should memorize. That's an acid. And then MgOH2, I have a metal bonded to this OH group, a hydroxide. A metal and a hydroxide, that's a base. So acid plus base gives me salt and water. That's the pattern for a neutralization reaction. It's helpful if you memorize this table of common acids and bases. If you do so, this is something that'll save you a lot of time when you're studying chemistry. Let's look at a table of common types of chemical reactions, because we know that this is a neutralization reaction. We have an acid and a base. We get salt and water. Neutralization but it's also considered a double replacement reaction. That's because the Mg and the hydrogen, they switch places, they replace each other. So now we have Mg here with the CH3COO, there it is, Mg, CH3COO, and then the hydrogen goes with the OH. HOH is H2O. We should probably balance this though for it to really make sense, because you have two so then we need a two here. So that's balanced. These are the two types of reactions we could use to describe the reaction of CH3COOH plus MgOH2, acetic acid plus magnesium hydroxide. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.